Hello learners, this is Anurag Tiwari from Sprindle College of Management Studies and uh, in this session 2020-21, I am going to teach you teaching of physical science. It is your B.H. second year curriculum and we will discuss the second part of this syllabus. I hope that in first part, that is in your first year, you had covered up the whole syllabus of teaching of physical science in which you had already studied the teaching techniques, teaching methodologies, and what are the importance of physical science curriculum in the middle school. And I hope that you also had already learned that what are the nature of physical science subject. So moving on in this lecture video, we will learn first that what are the are what are the objectives of this paper, and then we will move further for our topics. So here we are. So the teaching of physical science, this particular paper in your B.H. secondary curriculum comprised with the 40 plus 10 marks distribution that is external examination of 40 marks and internal assessment of 10 marks. So it is same as your first year curriculum. So the net marks, the total marks, gross marks will be 50. So there are the course objectives given over here. The first is to determine planning and organizing aspect of teaching of science. So basically in this syllabus, you are going to learn that how to plan a learning process for a science learner. To understand the role of lab and use the laboratory experiences for teaching learning of science. To understand the importance of lab how the lab should be, how to, how to develop a good lab, what are the attributes of a good lab, and what are the effective laboratory experiences for a learner. This is also come in this syllabus. So this is also an objective, very important. Third one is to use effectively different activities, learning resources for teaching learning of science. You see the teaching learning materials, instructional materials, shorts, thoughts, high order thinking skill questions to make, to design the activities which will beneficial for the learner to grow in science. You will learn how to create those type of activities in this paper. Now the moving ahead, fourth one is to facilitate development of scientific atti attitudes in learners. In order to teaching science, it is very important, it is very important for a teacher to make, to generate, to evolve the interest in a particular subject for any student. And you will learn that how any teacher can do that in this paper. Most importantly, the fifth one is to make them enable to use effectively the different approaches in teaching of science. Most of the time in Indian education system, it is being a stereotypeness is established that science and maths are little bit complex subjects. But uh, it is very true that science are more easier than any language subject. It is more easier than any humanity subject. And it is more interesting than any dance or painting or music. So just to make a pupil teacher to able to make the subject interesting for students, for learners, the major objectives are here it is. I hope that you can understand the importance of this paper in your B.A. curriculum. So moving on our first unit, here it is. Unit one is related to planning and organizing for teaching and learning. So basically in this unit, we will study about the task analysis or sometimes it is also being termed as pedagogical analysis. Identification and organization of concepts for teaching learning of science. Instructional material required for teaching. What are the instructional material are necessary for teaching of physical science? This topic is also in this unit. Third one is identification and writing teaching objectives in behavioral terms, teaching operations, planning 
information communication technology applications in learning science organizing other activities for teaching learning of science this third part of this unit is actually very relevant for present scenario for present scenario it is very important because now you can see i hope you and all are observing that ICT is the only thing which enables the teachers to work efficiently efficiently and dynamically in order to giving the teaching learning to the students without help of ICT we cannot make even this lecture for you so that is the importance of ICT which you will going to learn in unit 1 planning and organizing for teaching and learning so moving to our first topic that is task analysis let us consider suppose here it is suppose we are going to move any type of uh, we are going to discuss any type of subject or topic in any class then it is important to understand that in what terms we can divide that topic it is not possible that every topic can be understood by every student by a same methodology basically you have to divide your task into certain steps and by following those steps finally you can reach to your learning goals so task analysis is all about to breaking your topics into different steps to make the topic easy to make the class interesting to make the subject amazing for students so moving on our first is that is task analysis and pedagogical analysis it is uh, clear that here this pedagog pedagogical analysis is made by actually two words pedagogy and analysis pedagogy you know that pedagogy is something is related to the not related to the science teaching it is related to the teaching of science how a person should teach that is the basic understanding of pedagog pedagogy so here it is suppose pedagogical analysis of content of physical science if i if i make understood you that how we can understand this topic so basically the pedagogy is basically the science of teaching and the way and means provided to utilize by a teacher for managing his task of teaching as smoothly and effectively as possible by involving his least efforts for drawing the maximum possible better teaching outcomes so for less less efforts and maximum outcome maximum outcome is the whole sole purpose of task analysis pedagogical analysis if you make your task completely analyzed and if you are if you are able to divide your topic and your curriculum and your subject and your any type of activity which you are going to teach in the classroom in a certain manner in a certain steps and if those steps are enough good then definitely in the end of the lecture a student or learner will able to understand the topic which you are going to teach so if i make you show about this topic then there is one more important definition related to task analysis that is task analysis is a procedure having the purpose of identifying different kinds of performance which are outcomes for of learning in order to make possible the specification of optimal instructional condition for each kind of outcome so basically task analysis in a if if i comprise this whole thing in a certain sentence in a certain in a, in a limited definition then we can say that task analysis is a process in which we divide our task in certain steps to make a student learn to make a student able so that they can perform their task themselves if you are able to 
divide your task into certain steps then in the end of the lecture in the end of the topic your learner will able to perform some activities related to that task and it will enable you to make less effort and to give maximum outcome this is the basic whole soul purpose of task analysis i hope that you had get this uh, topic that what is the sense of task analysis so this particular introduction video of your curriculum teaching of physical science i would like to wrap up this video here in next lecture video we will discuss some more important topics also thank you learners